G'day cunts, welcome to Lou Review. Now, this episode was supposed to be on FoosyTube pretending to be homeless for YouTube views, but something has been happening on this website that's so cancerous, it requires my urgent attention. It's time to have a look at the rap beef between Jake Paul and Logan Paul. Fuck, if I thought this channel would turn into me reviewing rap beefs between two fucking viners, I would have tried harder in school. Help me help you make a better song, bitch. Numbers don't lie. The Logan is shit. Yeah, you little brother Jakey try to roast me. What? Yeah, you what? 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 Yeah, what? But before we take a look at the fucking awful rap beef, we need to take a quick look at the fucking awful rap song that started it all. Every Day Bro is a song made by Jake Paul, which was so bad that even his brother Logan trashed it publicly. Every now and then, a video is uploaded to YouTube that is so fucking shit that the community rises up as a collective unit to destroy it. It reminds me of like uh, red blood cells versus cancer cells. Have you ever seen those? videos on YouTube, they're fucking sick, except the red blood cells are like down votes and the cancer cells are everyone from Vine. Y'all, y'all can't handle this. Y'all don't know what's about to happen, baby. Oh no, I do know what's gonna happen, right? I know exactly what's gonna happen. You're a family friendly YouTuber, so you have to pretend to be humble in every fucking video you make, but you can't handle being humble because you're an arrogant cunt in real life, so you decide to make a rap just so you can brag about your fucking internet accomplishments, which, by the way, sound absolutely pathetic when you put them to a rap beat. It's every day, bro, with the Disney Channel flow. Five mil on YouTube in six months, never done before. This guy is actually bragging about YouTube subscribers in a fucking rap. I told you it'd sound pathetic. Pest, all the competition, man. PewDiePie is next, man. I'm popping all these checks. Got the brand new Rolex and then met the Lambo too. Look, Jake. Rule one of rap, you can't brag about shit that you don't own, all right? You don't own that Lamborghini, you rented it. You drive a fucking Ford Focus. You know who drives a Ford Focus? Women with anger issues who carry knives and wear Adidas tights. This is Team 10, bitch, who the hell up the venue? This guy just said hell and bitch, but changed fucking to flipping. That doesn't make any sense. Maybe fucking is specifically in his contract with Disney. Like if he says fucking, he loses any future acting roles and he's blown his chance at becoming a boy band when the money starts to dry up. Off the table. Don't say fuck. And I just dropped some new merch and it's selling like a god church. What the flip does selling like a god church mean? It, like, do you mean selling like a god, comma, church? Because even then, who sells like a god? Like, I've never heard any stories of Jesus selling... I mean, he was a Jew, so... I don't know, that's beside the point. You can tell this whole fucking rap was made by a viner because there's been no thought into it at all. It's just, oh, hit record, and if it comes out retarded, don't worry about it. Quantity over quality. I cannot be outdone. Jake Paul is number one. It's every day, bro. It's every day, bro. It's every day. You know, I actually don't mind the chorus. It's a lot better than that Flippin' Friday songs chorus. I was actually thinking about it. It sounds like a really angry ad from World Vision trying to get people to sponsor kids. 10,000 children under five die from preventable diseases. Your sponsorship helps provide solutions. You know it's Nick Crumpton and my corner stay poppin'. Yes, I can rap and no, I'm not from Cotton. This guy looks like Ellen DeGeneres if she put on a hundred kilos and then to lose the weight instead of going on a diet she just started doing heroin and it worked pretty well for her and out of those hundred kilos she put on she lost 20 of them but then she ran out of heroin and started to go through withdrawals that's exactly what this guy looks like
<laughs> I'm gonna go to jail for cyberbullying. <laughs> Look, I could go on for ages telling you why I think this is an awful rap song, but to be honest, we all know that, and I'm a little bit late to the party. But fortunately, I am quite early to this fake rap beef. So let's just dive in to this absolute cancer, and hopefully by the end of the video, we won't be all autistic. I mean, I am, because I had to go through their terrible 20 minute vlogs just to find snippets of them lucidly talking without jump cutting and screaming every three seconds. And now I can't look my mum in the eyes. I don't know how to do it anymore. I bought a fidget spinner. I'm really good at maths now, which is kind of cool. But overall, being autistic sucks and I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. So don't watch the vlogs, just watch this video. Let's have a look at Jake Paul's diss track. I see you talking trash about the song we made. Yep. We did it in one day. You had to spend 60K. Turn on your radio, kiss of them just hit us with a play. Only thing worse than your song is the low gang. And why don't we talk about how you're just a rebound? And now here's Logan's response, which if I'm being honest, was a much better display at rapping ability. But at the end of the day, it's still a viner bragging about YouTube subscribers in rhyme. So. You know, do you really want to be king of the fuckheads? Yes! What? Don't forget, boy, you were my shadow on Vine. Now you got a few subscribers and you think that you're the shit. I'll admit, you got money, you got bars, you got chick. But you're a dick. You ain't thankful for your fans. It's kind of funny. Do your investors know Team 10 ain't making any money? And here's both of them pretending to have a serious moment in their vlog where they say the beef is real. Bro! Congratulations, you hurt my feelings. Like I saw red when I when I watched that video. My mind was I, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It's <laughs> Do you see what they've done? They both basically made the exact same three videos, but just from a different perspective. They're exactly the same. And you might wonder, well, why would they do that? Well, here's both of them using the beef to sell t-shirts. I remember reading a news article a while back about a teacher who worked in a special school who made all of the mentally disabled kids step into a ring and punch on with each other. And it really reminds me of this fake beef between Jake and Logan Paul, except their manager is the teacher and they are the retarded kids punching on with each other for reasons they don't understand. These diss tracks are so fucking awful and marketed at 12 year olds that I wouldn't be surprised if Rice Gum Rape is Funny steps into the ring with his trash music because his channel's going down the drain. Okay, so I filmed this Lou review a few days ago. I'm just sitting here editing it now, as you can see, and it looks like I can tell the future because Rice Gum has joined in on this diss. I can tell that you came with a Disney flow, hey. Ain't nobody ever heard about your Disney show, hey. These guys like selling t-shirts a lot. I mean, I like selling t-shirts. I love seeing people wearing my try and stop me shit, but I don't love it so much that I would work with a guy who thinks making fun of a rape victim to her face is funny. But you know, maybe that's just the difference between me and the Paul brothers. Do you reckon Tupac and Biggie are up in heaven watching Jake and Logan Paul diss each other without swearing on top of royalty free beats? I mean, you know what? I wish this was way more like the Tupac and Biggie beef. I mean, at least they had the decency to kill each other before we got bored. You know, Jake and Logan are still going on with this shit trying to sell t-shirts. So look, Jake, if you really want to be better than your older brother Logan, the only way you're going to get there is with a few drive-bys, you know? Hit up Suge Knight, take some inspiration from him, and just go on a fucking rampage. Please, cleanse the world of Viners. In the meantime, what I've done is I've taken your song and I've recreated it. I've changed the lyrics to make it a bit more realistic. I've changed the film clip to make it a bit more accurate. I think this song really says something about you and your craft that's a lot more honest than the one that you put out. I hope you enjoy. Yeah, you already know what it is. Fucking terrible. Yeah. 
It's every day, bro, with the super cancer flow. Five mil on YouTube in six months. I wish I was Logan Paul. All my fans are ten, so I check IDB for sex. Empty hole inside my soul, I filled it with a Rolex. I'll be irrelevant soon, and so will my whole crew. This is Team 10, bitch, and we all make cancer too. Vine got deleted, so I daily blog on YouTube. Please buy a t-shirt, I am scared that this will end too. In three years, my fans will grow up. That is scary, dude. My brother's in a movie, why can't I have one too? Insecure and sad as fuck, cause everything I'm making sucks. Videos every day, this won't last forever, fuck! This parody's getting bad, this flow is fucking bad, the rhymes are fucking bad. I mean, straight up, the content is bad. Like, it doesn't even make sense. Lyrically, this shit is awful. It's borderline incoherent. Like, listen to this, this is an unaltered lyric. And I just dropped some new merch, and it's selling like a god church. What the fuck does that even mean? A god church? Do you mean it's selling like a god, comma, church? Because that doesn't make sense. What kind of god sells stuff? Or do you mean it's selling like a god church? And if you mean god church, what is a god church? Like, churches don't really sell stuff. I mean, they take a lot of money, but they don't actually sell shit. Like, I don't know. I don't even know why I'm analyzing this shit. It's pretty fucking clear that it's just dumb. Please buy a t-shirt. Oh yeah, I forgot about the chorus. You make cancer, bro. You make cancer, bro. You make cancer, bro. You make fucking cancer, bro. Alright, I'm done with this. What a waste of my day. Thanks for watching guys. It feels really good to be back on track making regular videos and uh, I'm feeling like that's going to continue. Also, I have a bit of an announcement to make. I'm starting a new series on YouTube. It's a media and political satire series and something that I've always really wanted to do. I feel like this series that I'm going to come out with is what I've always wanted to do on YouTube but I've never just had the ability, all the resources, all the equipment. But now, thanks to how long I've been doing this and Patreon and, and a number of other things, I feel like I'm finally able to do what I've always wanted to do on this website. And I'm hoping that that series is gonna start next week. I'm gonna be dropping a trailer very soon. Um, I'm waiting on a few other things, but next week is when it should start, if not the week after that. And I'm very excited to do this. If you wanna hear more about it, I'll be talking about it on this week's podcast. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. There's a new series coming soon. Lure Review will still be coming out, but it'll be coming out once every two weeks, which really I think is better because it'll give me more time to research and work on the videos and make them higher quality. But that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, support me on Patreon, all that fucking shit. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later, guys. Catch you later. Bye. Lost in thought, I watch him talk, but can't hear the words. It's clear I'm cursed. Fuck this dirty world, can never fear the worst.